Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, welcome to EV News. In this video, let's discuss some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry. So without any delay, let's dive into the video. Friends, first news is from Ola. Recently, Ola has released the post in their social media accounts in which they are saying that they'll deliver their electric scooters within 7 days. They are guaranteeing this 7 days delivery in that post. So, if you book Ola S1 Pro or Ola S1 Air electric scooters, you can get the delivery of both these electric scooters within 7 days from the date you book these electric scooters. Currently, Ola is taking close to 1 month time to deliver their electric scooters to their customers. But from now, if you if you book Ola S1 Pro or Ola S1 Air, you can get these electric scooters within 7 days. So what's your opinion on this 7 days delivery? Will Ola can really deliver these electric scooters within 7 days? Please let me know in the comments. Friends, next news is also from Ola. Recently, Ola has commenced the deliveries of their S1 X series. Those who booked this Ola S1 X series, initially the deliveries has started from them. So how many of you booked this electric scooter and how many of you or your friends has took the delivery of this electric scooter? Please let me know in the comments. Friends, next news is from TVS. Recently in an interview, TVS Managing Director and CEO Mr. K. N. Radhakrishnan has announced some news about their upcoming electric vehicles. So, in the financial year 2025, TVS is going to launch three new electric scooter variants along with our electric three-wheeler. Currently, TVS sells TVS iCube S and TVS iCube Base variant electric scooters in India. So, TVS iCube ST has been already launched but due to some reasons, the deliveries of this TVS iCube ST has not yet commenced. So as per TVS, they are going to launch three new variants in the same TVS iCube lineup in this 2025 financial year. Recently, Aether has launched Aether Rista at 1.1 lakh rupees X showroom and Ampere has launched Ampere Nexus electric scooter at 1.1 lakh rupees X showroom. And soon Bajaj is going to launch an electric scooter in affordable price range. So to compete with all these brands, TVS is also going to introduce two new variants in the affordable price range and I think the third model is going to be the TVS iCube ST. So along with these three, TVS is also working on a new electric three-wheeler. The three-wheeler is in the advanced R&D stage now. So in this financial year 2023, we can expect three new variants in the iCube lineup along with an electric three-wheeler. Friends, next news is from Marty Suzuki. Recently, Marty Suzuki has launched a 2024 variant of their Swift vehicle. So, in the same event, Director and CEO of Marty Suzuki has revealed some of their EV plans. Currently, Marty Suzuki is working on their first electric car, that is EVX. This EVX is an SUV electric car. So, the launch of this SUV electric car is going to be in this financial year 2025. So, as per him, the demand for hatchbacks in India has been decreased now. But soon, the demand for this hatchback segment will increase in India and by then they are going to launch a new electric car in the hatchback segment. I think Marty Suzuki is going to launch this Swift vehicle in the EV version soon. So we all know that Swift has very good popularity and that is one of the top selling car in India. So if Marty Suzuki launches this Swift car in electric version, how many of you going to buy? Please let me know in the comments. Friends, next news is from Tesla. American Tesla has filed a trademark suit on Indian Tesla. To be precise, in India, there is a company called Tesla Power USA, which manufactures lead-acid batteries for solar and for uh, automobile industries. So, American-based Tesla has filed a trademark suit on this Indian Tesla Power USA. So, basically, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has to visit India this month. But due to some reasons, he has cancelled the India trip and he went to China to discuss about their electric cars. So after cancellation of this India trip, this trademark suit filed on our Indian based Tesla brand. As we all know that Tesla is planning to sell their electric cars in India. If Tesla enters India, there will be a misconception or misunderstanding between the US Tesla company and this Tesla Power USA company. So due to this, Tesla has filed a trademark suit on this Tesla Power USA brand. So as per this Tesla Power USA brand, they are in the Indian market from past few years and they promise that they don't enter the EV industry in any way. They'll manufacture only lead acid batteries or lithium ion batteries in future. So these discussions are going in the high court now. The next hearing will be on the May 22nd. So court has asked this Tesla Power USA company to defend this suit. So let's see what happens. What's your opinion on this? Please let me know in the comments. 
Fresh next news is from Tata. Tata has recently launched Tata Ace EV 1000. So this is the updated model for the previous Tata Ace EV. So basically in this new Tata Ace EV 1000 will get 1 ton payload capacity. In the previous version we used to get 750 kgs of load capacity. And the previous version's range used to be 154 kilometers, but this Tata Ace EV 1000 range is 161 kilometers on a single charge. This gets 27 kilowatt motor with which it can generate 130 newton meters of peak torque and Tata is providing 7 years battery warranty on this Tata Ace EV. The previous Tata Ace EV used to cost 8.7 lakh rupees ex showroom. I think the new pricing for this Tata Ace EV 1000 will be somewhere around 9 lakh rupees. Friends, last news is from Matter. I think many of you are waiting for the deliveries of Matter Ira electric bike. Recently, company has announced a delivery timeline for this Matter Ira electric bike. So, company is going to commence the deliveries of this Matter Ira electric bike in the festive season. Festive season is still 4 to 5 months away now. So, they are going on postponing the delivery dates of this Matter Ira electric bike. So, this electric bike got too much hype due to their liquid cooled battery, liquid cooled motor, touchscreen display, along with 4 speed manual gearbox. Company has received many bookings but they are going on delaying the delivery dates. Recently as per some news they have refunded the booking amount for some of the customers. So they are saying some legal reasons for this issue but let's see when Matt Raira will commence the deliveries. What's your opinion on this please let me know in the comments. So these are some of the latest news and interesting updates from our EV industry for this week. What's your opinion on this video please let me know in the comments and if you found the video informative please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green go electric.